assalamu alaikum students once again welcome back to the course work based learning project students pichle lectures mein hum logon ne work based learning projects ke hawale se kuch cheezon ko practical shape dene ki koshish ki hum logon ne dekha kaise theories kaise cheeze adopt karne ki zarurat padti hai कैसे चीज़ें इम्प्लीमेंट करने की ज़रूरत पड़ती है जब कभी भी हम किसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम कर रहे होते हैं फॉर द टाइम बींग अगर तो मेरे लिसनर्स किसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम कर रहे हैं और अगर वो थ्योरीज को अप्लाई करने की कोशिश करें मैनेजरियल प्रैक्टिसेस को अप्लाई करने की कोशिश करें इस्टेब्लिश्ड मैथडोलॉजीज को अप्लाई करने की कोशिश करें for the sake of work effectiveness for the sake of motivating the employees for the sake of improving the organizational practices to hum ye samjhenge ki work based learning ka hame kuch na kuch fayda zarur hua although is subject ka scope waise dekha jaye bahut broad scope hai is subject mein इंसानी ज़िंदगी जो कि वर्क के हवाले से है उसमें रेलिवेंट उससे रेलिवेंट जो कुछ भी है इंसान को डील करना पड़ता है दैर इज़ ऑल रेलिवेंट टू वर्क बेस्ड लर्निंग सो स्टूडेंट्स जो थ्योरीज हम कुछ कवर कर पाए उसकी लाइट में हम लोगों ने एक आध सिनेरियो डिस्कस करने की कोशिश की हमारे पिछले लेक्चर में हम लोगों ने एक सीनारी डिस्कस किया जिसमें हम लोगों ने ये कहा हाउ टू ओवरकम द अटेंडेंस शॉर्टेज प्रॉब्लम इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन उसका एक तरीका जो प्रीवियस सनैरियो में हमने डिस्कस किया वो ये था कि मिस्टर आदिल ने जो पॉइंट सिस्टम डिस्कस किया जो पॉइंट सिस्टम इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए अपनी सजेशन पेश की दैट वॉज appropriate but it does not means at all ke employees ko hamesha dara dhamka ke external factors se control karke hi kaam liya ja sakta hai there can be certain other ways as well isi liye to ek aur jo hum logon ne social learning ke hawale se cheez padhi या हम मैक ग्रेगर की थ्योरी एक्स और वाई पे एक नज़र डालें तो हमें पता चलता है कि लाजमी नहीं कि एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स बल्कि एट टाइम्स इंटरनल फैक्टर्स इंटरेंसिक मोटिवेशन इंटरेंसिकली जब आप कुछ करना चाहते हैं कुछ बनना चाहते हैं और उसका इफ़ेक्ट आपके बिहेवियर पे होता है तो भी बिहेवियर को मोडिफाई किया जा सकता है लेकिन पॉसिबल है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट वेरी सिचुएशन दैट मिस्टर आदिल वाज फेसिंग इन आवर प्रीवियस सिनेरियो एंड मे बी आफ्टर इवेल्युएटिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अल्टरनेटिव्स टू कंट्रोल द बिहेवियर ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज ही माइट हैव थॉट ही माइट हैव इवेल्युएटेड दैट द ऑप्शन दैट ही इज गोइंग टू चूज इज द अप्रोप्रिएट ऑप्शन सो so, पॉसिबल है उन्होंने वही इम्प्लीमेंट किया हो लेकिन ये लाजमी नहीं कि हर सिचुएशन में हर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में आ, हर तरह की वर्क प्रैक्टिस में इसी सिस्टम से काम लिया जाए इसके अलावा भी मज़ीद ऑप्शंस, मज़ीद अल्टरनेटिव्स हो सकते हैं एम्प्लॉज़ को एजुकेट किया जाए एम्प्लॉज़ को टाइम की अफादियत का बताया जाए एम्प्लॉज़ की प्रॉपर शेड्यूलिंग की जाए पॉसिबल है कि लास्ट केस के सिनेरियो में या लास्ट सिनेरियो के हवाले से उनकी वर्क शेड्यूलिंग प्रॉपर तरीके से ना हुई हो उनको मोटिवेट करने के लिए कोई री इन्फोर्सर्स सही तौर से इम्प्लीमेंट ना किए गए हों वगैरह वगैरह या री इन्फोर्सर्स का एलमी ना हो सरे से एम्प्लॉज़ को 
सो स्टूडेंट्स कहने का मतलब ये ये जो प्रैक्टिस हैं आपको इस कोर्स में सिर्फ एक एग्जाम्पल के तौर पे तो ज़रूर बताई जा रही हैं लेकिन इसका हरगिज ये मतलब नहीं कि हर सिचुएशन में वन साइज फिट्स ऑल नो इट इज़ नॉट ट्रू लाजमी नहीं क्योंकि नेचर ऑफ ऑपरेशन डिफरेंट हो सकते हैं नेचर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिफरेंट हो सकते हैं सो विद द चेंज इन द नेचर ऑफ द ऑपरेशन विद द चेंज इन द फंक्शनिंग विद द चेंज इन द लोकेशन इवन विद द चेंज इन द वर्क एथिक्स विद द चेंज इन द टेक्नोलॉजिकल पैटर्न विद द चेंज इन द मार्केट डिमांड्स यू हैव टू अडॉप्ट डिफरेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज एट टाइम्स यू हैव टू अडॉप्ट कम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजीज ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम टू कंट्रोल ह्यूमन बिहेवियर सो कुछ आगे देखते हैं कुछ मजीद सनैरियोज डिस्कस करने की कोशिश करते हैं एक बात जहन में रख लेना लाजमी है स्टूडेंट्स लेक्चर अलेवन में हम मजीद कुछ केसेस डिस्कस करेंगे जब तक स्टूडेंट्स की इन्वॉलमेंट इन केसेस में इन प्रैक्टिकल सनैरियोज में नहीं होगी उस वक़्त तक इनको लर्न करना डिफरेंट ऑल्टरनेटिव डिवेलप करना डिफरेंट चीज़ों को रिकॉल करना पॉसिबल नहीं होगा सो स्टूडेंट्स एंड अदर शॉर्ट सनैरियो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज रिलेटेड टू मैनेजमेंट एंड लीडरशिप मैं थोड़ा सा यहाँ पर सनैरियो बिल्ड करता चलूँ कि इस सनैरियो में हुआ क्या और क्यों इसको रिलेट किया गया मैनेजेरियल प्रैक्टिस से और लीडरशिप से फॉर एवरी सिचुएशन फॉर दैट मैटर लीडरशिप काउंट्स अलॉट वट टाइप ऑफ लीडरशिप स्टाइल अ पर्सन अडॉप्ट हैज डायरेक्टली इम्पैक्ट ऑन द बिहेवियर ऑफ एम्प्लॉज ये तो बड़ी वजह बड़ी वाज सी बात है सो स्टूडेंट्स इस सिनेरियो में कुछ ऐसा हुआ देर वर टू मैनेजर्स आई मीन बिलाल एंड कादिर दे बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट कंपनीज डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दे वर अंडर गोइंग सम ट्रेनिंग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय सम प्रोफेशनल बॉडी वहाँ पे वो ट्रेनिंग लेने गए about implementation of health and safety regulations in their respective organizations kuch points slide se dekh lete hain baki story kuch main aap logon ko bata dunga mazid detail aap logon ko mil payegi jab aap iski case study padhenge aapko केस स्टडी फ्राहम कर दी जाएगी शॉर्टली फ्यू फैक्ट्स अबाउट मैनेजमेंट एंड लीडरशिप केस बिलाल वर्क इन ब्लॉक लिमिटेड अ प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर एज अ प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर बिलाल और कादिर दोनों प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर्स हैं दे बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिलाल इज अ प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर एट ब्लॉक्स लिमिटेड एंड कादिर इज एंड ऑपरेशन मैनेजर प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर इन फोन लिमिटेड बोथ मीट एट स्टाफ डिवेलपमेंट मीटिंग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट विच इज बेसिकली प्रोफेशनल बॉडी एक इंस्टीट्यूट है जो कि इस तरह की प्रोडक्शन से रिलेटेड या मजीद प्रोफेशनल ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड करता है and since both were invited over there and they were undergoing that training session they met over there and they shared views with one and other pehle bilal ka scenario discuss kar lete hain bilal is a happy going friendly having friendly nature human being jab kabhi bhi apne employees se milta hai bahut khush dili se अच्छे तरीके से मिलता है 
और अपने एम्प्लॉज के साथ घुल मिल के रहना फ्रेंडली मैनर में डील करना उसको पसंद है बिलाल के अंडर 50 एम्प्लॉज काम कर रहे हैं जिसमें से के 40 एम्प्लॉज पिछले 20 साल या उससे कुछ ज्यादा अरसे से एम्प्लॉज हैं बाकी 10 एम्प्लॉज जो हैं दे आर अनस्किल्ड और सेमी स्किल्ड एम्प्लॉज और वो जनरली कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल एम्प्लॉज हैं और कभी जनरली ज्यादातर अरसा अगर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ काम करते हैं तो एक साल मुकम्मल होने पे आम तौर पे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन छोड़ के किसी और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की तरफ जाने को प्रेफर करते हैं ऑन द अदर हैंड अगर हम देखें कादिर की एग्जांपल तो कादिर के अंडर भी बहुत सारे एम्प्लॉज काम कर रहे हैं अराउंड 50 और कादिर ने अपने बारे में बताते हुए ये बताया कि कादिर ने फॉन्स लिमिटेड अभी कुछ अरसा पहले ही ज्वाइन की है एंड ही इज न्यू टू द पीपल ही इज न्यू टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and why he has been given this opportunity to become production manager because of the reason that the previous production manager was having autocratic strict attitude strict attitude with respect to dealing with employees implementation of the things he used strict manners of motivating the employees as we see in theory x of macgregor so this was one of the reasons for the previous manager to be replaced by kader kader now wants to adopt certain way of Uh, leadership that helps him as well as the organization as well as the employees to work in a positive manner towards operations of a firm going back to the slide new health and safety regulations are due to be implemented and this will require discipline in the workforce for implementation of new health and safety regulations both managers are agreed upon that this will not be possible unless they have proper discipline of their employees jab tak discipline nahi hoga employees baat nahi manenge implement karte hue kisi bhi program ko resist karenge हैप हेजर्ड सिचुएशन क्रिएट करने की कोशिश करेंगे कन्फ्यूजन बेस्ड इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट करने की कोशिश करेंगे अगर एम्प्लॉज डिसिप्लिन होंगे तो टॉप मैनेज टॉप मैनेजमेंट या फॉर दैट मैटर प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर जो भी बात कह रहा है इजीली एक्सेप्ट करेंगे और जो भी रूल्स रेगुलेशन रिगार्डिंग हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी इम्प्लीमेंट करने की कोशिश की जा रही है उसको सपोर्ट करेंगे अब यहाँ पे दोनों मैनेजर्स को प्रॉब्लम ये है पहले बिलाल का जिक्र कर लें बिलाल जो 40 एम्प्लॉज हैं बिलाल के अंडर एंड दे हैव बीन वर्किंग फॉर मोर देन 20 इयर्स ही इज़ वेरी मच कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट देम एंड ही इज़ फ्रेंडली इन डीलिंग विद देम वेयर एज ही इज सम नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट द टेन पीपल That are unskilled. So Bilal को दो situations deal करने को मिल रही हैं यहाँ पर हमें ऐसा नजर आ रहा है कि Bilal has to deal with two different groups and he may be adopting different approaches to deal with different groups. Whereas Kader की सूरत में अगर हम देखें Kader is a new production manager. उसके लिए सारा environment as खुद नया है plus कादिर को अपना कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्ड करने के लिए कुछ 
ٹائم چاہیے اس کے بعد قادر کو ہیلتھ اینڈ سیفٹی ریگولیشن امپلیمنٹ کرنے کے لیے کچھ ایسا لیڈرشپ اسٹائل چاہیے جس میں رہ کر جس کو اڈاپٹ کر کے افیکٹیولی ہیلتھ اور سیفٹی رولز کو امپلیمنٹ کیا جا سکے سو یہ کچھ فیکٹس ہیں جو کیس اسٹڈی پڑھنے سے ہمیں ملتے ہیں سو لیٹس موو آن ٹو دا ریکوائرمنٹس آف دس سینیریو The requirement says that with reference to each organization that is blocks limited and phones limited discuss the role of management in motivation. Now, what do you say? 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 لیڈرشپ سٹائلز کے حوالے سے پڑھا اس کو ذہن میں رکھتے ہوئے آپ یہ سجیسٹ کریں دونوں مختلف آرگنائزیشنز کو دونوں مختلف پروڈکشن مینیجرز کو کہ وہ کونسا ایسا طریقہ کار اختیار کریں کہ ہیلتھ اور سیفٹی کے جو رولز ریگولیشنز ان کو امپلیمنٹ کرنے ہیں وہ افیکٹیولی امپلیمنٹ کیے جا سکیں اس میں کم سے کم ریزسٹنس کا سامنا ان کو کرنا پڑے دیکھیں اس سینیریو کے بہت سارے ڈائمنشنز ہو سکتے ہیں بہت سارے ایسپیکٹس ہو سکتے ہیں لیکن چونکہ ہمیں ریکوائرڈ یہی ہے ہم سے یہی مانگا جا رہا ہے کیپنگ ان ویو دا موٹیویشن اینڈ لیڈرشپ سائڈ جسٹ سجیسٹ سم تھنگ ٹو سالو دس پرابلم سو اسٹوڈنٹس لیٹس لک ایٹ دا پاسبل آلٹرنیٹو اور دا پاسبل سولوشن ٹو دس سینیریو بائی ریفرنگ ایٹ دا سلائڈ فسٹ آف آل اٹ از نیسری فار ایس ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ موٹیویشن از جسٹ فار دا سیک آف ریکالنگ آر پریویس نالج سو موٹیویشن از اکمپلشنگ تھنگس تھرو دا ایفرٹ آف ادرس اف یو کین ناٹ ڈو دس یو ول فیل ایز اے مینیجر اپنے امپلائیز کو کسی کام کے کرنے کے لیے راضی کر لینا اور سیٹسفیکٹریلی ہیپیلی جب امپلائیز اس کام کو اکمپلش کرتے ہیں کمپلیٹ کرتے ہیں تو یہ مینیجر کی سکسیس کہلاتی ہے اگر مینیجر یہ کرنے میں ناکام رہے ہیں تو اٹ مینز دیٹ اٹ از فیلئر آن دا پارٹ آف مینیجر اینڈ دا مینجمنٹ پریکٹس دیٹ دے ہیو اڈاپٹیڈ So, in our case, we have to devise some alternatives. We have to look at the leadership styles that Bilal and Qadir must adopt for successful implementation of health and safety rules, regulations. On the other hand, when we talk about job performance, what basically job performance is on the part of a worker or on the part of employees, okay, job performance, job performance, worker ne bhi perform karni hai, job, manager ne bhi perform karni hai. So let's look at, just for the sake of recall of the relevant thing with respect to this case, that is about Bilal and Qadir are supposed to perform in terms of implementation. Employees are supposed to perform in terms of adoption of this change, this new health and safety regulations in their organization. So job performance is a function of ability, motivation, and organizational support. Job performance is a function of 
A multiplied by M multiplied by O. A is the ability. Ability how much qualified, how much experienced, how much well mannered, how much well uh, matured a manager is, how much effective communication skills he holds to communicate the same thing to the employees. So we say that the ability of a manager directly depends upon the performance he shows, that is implementation of the health and safety regulations. Number two, motivation. Motivation can be intrinsic, can be extrinsic. For this case, for this matter, both motivations should be in action. Otherwise, aap implement nahi karwa paenge. Internal motivation and external motivation. Rather, we may say that internal motivation due to internal factors and motivation due to external factors. External factor Bilal ya Qadir ke liye ye ho sakte hain ke shayad agar wo successful implement karwa lete hain ek taraf to overall jo benefit hoga employees ko that they will be working in a safe and healthy environment. On the other hand, this possibility is that Qadir and Bilal may get some financial reward, promotion, their contract renew. So, I mean these are the external factors that may contribute or they, that may motivate both the managers to implement this program successfully. On the other hand, intrinsic motivation can be, since this is a part of their duty, since they are supposed to be committed to the job they are performing, so they have to be intrinsically having positive attitude that they are supposed to do it and they will do it. So, the positive push hai andar se, positive drive hai, to wo is program ko implement karne mein tamam tar effort zaroor use karenge. Third factor that contributes toward performance is the organizational sport. Organizational sport kya cheez hai? Aise favorable factors hai as a structure hai jo ke aapki performance ko support kare aapko kaam karne mein madadgar sabit ho iski ek example zara is case se hat ke le lete hain aam taur pe classroom classroom learning se hum log sare guzar chuke hote hain so shayad hamare liye wahan pe is example ko samajhna aasan ho jayega Students, अगर आप learning के लिए classroom में गए हो और वहाँ पे जितने भी necessary required factors हैं वो available हैं that helps you to learn तो आपकी learning easily हो पाएगी. Otherwise, अगर environment sportive नहीं है तो शायद आप effectively learn ना कर पाओ. Suppose क्लासरूम में अगर गर्मियों का सीजन है और बहुत ज़्यादा हीट है, so you will not be comfortable enough by sitting in the classroom and to look at the board or multimedia projector slides being displayed in front of you will be not in a position to concentrate upon the material that is being shared by the teacher to aapki learning hona possible nahi hai ya agar hogi bhi to hampered learning hogi on the other hand classroom agar bahut comfortable hai heating cooling ka system maujood hai comfortable chairs furniture 
is there. Uh, necessary equipment for delivery of lecture is available. Teacher is well prepared and has clear sound, clear uh, communication with the students. This helps you to learn a lot as compared to the previous scenario. So for anything to be accomplished at workplace, it is necessary that organizational support should be there. Organizational support means all the necessary factors that are necessary for that work to happen. So, in this case, mein health and safety regulations implement in this case, if we look at this case, then employees' ki motivation is necessary. If they are not motivated, then they will not be implement implemented. उनको मोटिवेट डिफरेंट तरीकों से किया जा सकता है जैसा कि दोनों मैनेजर्स ने अपना प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस किया कि इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर द एम्प्लॉइज टू बी डिसिप्लिन अगर वो डिसिप्लिन हैं तो शायद ये चेंज इजीली एक्सेप्ट कर पाएंगे जो कम्युनिकेट हो रहा है बाय अडॉप्टिंग टॉप डाउन कम्युनिकेशन जो टॉप मैनेजर कह रहा है ओके बॉस यू आर राइट एंड वी आर देयर टू एक्सेप्ट इट and we will be implementing it. If this is the scenario, so it will be easy to implement this change. Otherwise, if there will be ifs and buts, if there will be vague situation, if there, if there will be different questions coming from different groups, so it will become really difficult for both the managers to implement whatever they want to implement. Referring to slide. Over here, another factor that seems important is about leadership style. Among different leadership styles available, two basic leadership styles can be implemented or can be used. One is autocratic style and other one is democratic style. These styles are again related to goal setting theory which states that setting challenging goals for motivated employees and you will get the thing done. Means to say, ek or theory hamare zain mein hati hai जो कि रेलेवेंट है इस केस से जिसको हम कहते हैं गोल सेटिंग थ्योरी गोल सेटिंग थ्योरी है क्या आपके जो मोटिवेटेड लॉयल कमिटेड एम्प्लॉइज हैं एम्प्लॉइज हु हैव द पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड टू अडॉप्ट द थिंग्स टू एक्सपीरियंस न्यू थिंग्स सो इफ यू गिव देम सम गोल इफ यू असाइन देम सम टास्क विद सम डेडलाइन they will be happy to do it because they know that they will learn out of that experience a lot. Reinforcers or punish them, punishments are the key factors to control the behavior of lazy employees. Up here, a is a may implement hoti nazarai. Jo ke ham logane operant conditioning me padithi. Which was, which was about to control the behavior by punishers or reinforcers. So students, you have seen that many concepts which we have in different courses in different courses were implemented in this case, in this scenario, in this scenario, in this scenario. What basically is autocratic style? Autocratic style is basically the strict, straightforward style of doing the thing in which one person wants to hold the control of the situation and generally the communication that takes place is the top-down communication. 
and he expects all the people to obey the leader. Strong centralized control with a single source of authority, one man show. One man is responsible for doing everything, not for doing everything, rather to implement the required changes and get the things done. Subordinates follow the orders. One way communication that is top to down communication. These are few of the characteristics of autocratic style. Another leadership style which can be adopted to motivate the employees is democratic leadership style. Democratic leadership style may authority kya hoti hai? Authority and power is generally decentralized. Your subordinates have been given some authority to do, to perform the things. Employees involved in decision making process. Employees ko encourage kiya jata hai ki wo decision making mein apni participation show kare. Leader is interested to know the viewpoint of different stakeholders, different groups that are involved with respect to implementation of that program or implementation of that change. Employees are self-directed and intrinsically motivated. For this, for adoption of this democratic style, this is the requirement that the employees who are directly related to the situation must be intrinsically motivated. Let's bifurcate and discuss the solution for blocks limited and phones limited <coughs> separately. So first, let's look at the solution for blocks limited. Bilal has friendly relationship with the people having tenure more than 20 years. So over here, he can adopt a democratic style. He can share the views with the people. He can invite input from these commu uh, committed loyal employees. Plus, Bilal ko ek aur kaam karne ki zarurat hai. Chunki Bilal thoda sa ye samajhta hai ke jo baaki das employees hain, wo thoda se discipline wise unko manage karna problem hai. So he may use autocratic style for those remaining 10 people. Unskilled workers may be treated by using autocratic style. So we can say that there is no one rule that can be used to control the behavior to motivate the employees for implementation of health and safety rules. Bilal can use mix of autocratic and democratic leadership styles to motivate the employees for the implementation of health and safety rules that are to be implemented. If we look at the solution or the side of phones limited, Kadir. Kadir is a newly appointed production manager. He is supposed to develop network. He is supposed to develop the understanding with the people. He is supposed to communicate for sharing his views as well as for inviting his views. But on the other hand, the group of people that Kadir has are self-directed, motivated, and are responsible. All the employees under his supervision are highly skilled and experienced. So they are highly skilled, they are experienced, they know the importance of health and safety regulations for their organizations, for their working. And one of the 
other fact related to Kadir scenario is that the previous production manager left the organization because of the reason that he was very much autocratic in attitude and the people of that organization were not comfortable working with him. So, students, अब एक ही केस में दो सिनेरियोस हमने डिस्कस किए और दोनों सिनेरियोस एक दूसरे से मुख्तलिफ नजर आते हैं। Employees को motivate भी रखना है, different groups को different तरीकों से deal करना है। अब अगर motivation की बात करें और हम देखें कि जो थ्योरीज हमने पहले पढ़ रखी हैं जिसमें के थ्योरी एक्स और थ्योरी वाई भी हमें यहां पर इंप्लीमेंट होते नजर आ रही है बिलाल के सिनेरियो में ब्लॉक्स लिमिटेड के सिनेरियो में थ्योरी एक्स से रिलेटेड वो लोग हैं जो अनस्किल्ड हैं जो के बात नहीं मानते दे आर इनडिसिप्लिनड उनको राह रास्त पे लाना जरूरी है सो हार्श strict ways of communication, strict ways of dealing with the people is required. Whereas, on the other hand, those who are more experienced and they are loyal to the organization and they have worked in the organization for more than 20 years, those employees have a theory why use to deal with the employees. And they have a way of leadership to adopt the employees. جس سے ان کا موٹیویشن لیول مزید انہانس کیا جا سکے اور ہیلتھ اور سیفٹی رولز ریگولیشنز کو ایفیکٹیولی ایمپلیمنٹ کیا جا سکے سٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ کہ یہ سلوشنز آپ کو پسند آئے ہوں گے اور میں یہ بھی امید کرتا ہوں کہ آپ لوگوں کو اس کے علاوہ کوئی آلٹرنیٹ اگر نظر آتا ہے اس سینیریو کے حوالے سے ضرور آلٹرنیٹس جنریٹ کریں اور ایمپلیمنٹ کرنے کی کوشش کریں اوکے سٹوڈنٹس سو اس کے علاوہ ہم ایک اور سینیریو ڈسکس کرنے جا رہے ہیں جو کہ تھوڑا سا مختلف اینگل سے ڈسکس کریں گے A case of a bank manager. ये एक ऐसे bank manager की कहानी है, एक ऐसे bank manager का सिनेरियो है, जो के सुबह से लेकर शाम तक अपने काम में बहुत ज़्यादा मसरूफ रहती है। She is exposed to look after many aspects of a bank branch. اس مینیجر کا نام جو کہ آپ کی کیس سٹڈی میں موجود ہے وانگ گل مور ہے وانگ گل مور is a learned bank manager and she is supposed to take care of the operations of a bank branch نہ صرف operations کو دیکھنا بلکہ نئے کسٹومرز کو اٹریکٹ کرنا پرانے کسٹومرز کو ریٹین کرنا بینک سے ریلیٹڈ کسی بھی پرابلم کو ہینڈل کرنا کلائنٹس کی جو پرابلمز ہیں وید رسپیکٹ ٹو کمپلینٹس ان کو سیٹسفائی کرنا امپلائیز کے حوالے سے جو پرابلمز ہیں ان ٹرمز آف فنکشننگ in terms of resources, in terms of comfortable working environment, unko ensure karna. Iske ilawa, apne bachon ki dek bhaal aur mazid branch mein jo bhi equipment laga hai, uski effective functioning ko ensure karna. بھی وانگ گل مور کی ہی ذمہ داری ہے ہوتا کچھ یوں ہے کہ جنرلی وانگ گل مور صبح سوہ سات بجے اپنے گھر سے نکلتی ہے بکاز 
he is supposed to reach the branch by 8 o'clock in the morning. मॉर्निंग में आठ बजे ब्रांच पहुंच के जो प्रीवियस दिन की वर्किंग थी उसको एक नजर देखना जो अपडेटेड फिगर्स इस वक्त चल रहे हैं विद रिस्पेक्ट टू स्टॉक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लोन्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डिपॉजिट्स उनको जानना ब्रांच में अवेलेबल जितना इक्विपमेंट है उसकी इफेक्टिव फंक्शनिंग को इंश्योर करना इंक्लूडिंग ATM machines, cameras, other security devices, lockers. Branch ke andar environment ko maintain karna in terms of physical environment like lightning, heating cooling system, communication system, fax machines, in sub cheezon ko ensure karana ki ye saari cheezen effectively kaam kar rahi hai all are a part of the functions of Vaughan Gilmore so let's go to the slide for knowing few more facts about the case Vaughan Gilmore is a bank manager, manager at the Milpitas branch of Bank of America. She has a hectic day working through activities. Just tarah se mainne aap logo kaha. Subha se leke bank band hone se pehle tak, bank band hone tak, baha saari activities ko look after karna, logan ke behavior ko deal karna, customers ki complaints ko deal karna, ye saari ki saari cheeze Vaughan Gilmore ke daira kaar mein Shamil. The requirement. The requirement is to identify the managerial roles identified by Mintzberg in this case. Students, can you recall the Henry Mintzberg's managerial role? Managerial roles that he has identified while and after conducting research study upon several bank managers. Henry Mintzberg ne bohat sare managers pe ek study ki thi unke functions ko identify karne ke liye roles ko identify karne ke liye and he came up with a set of different roles. I expect from you people to recall the managerial roles that were identified by Mintzberg. Can you do so? Yes. Give it a try. Recall some previous things that you have learned in your coursework. Come on. Oh yes, you can. So, when we recall the information, cognitism, cognitivism is in action. And now, when we implement it, when we try to relate the working of Wong Gilmore to those managerial roles, this will refer to the Cobb's learning cycle. So students, we have seen that upon coming across different situations, how we recall the information, students. So the three major categories of roles that Mintzberg has identified are interpersonal roles which are generally based on relationship with co-workers, employees, 
subordinates, customers, etc. Informational roles that are basically related to the communication skills, communicating with all the stakeholders that are related to or that are getting benefit in one way or the other to the organization, from the organization. And third category of the managerial roles identified by Mintzberg is decision making roles or decisional roles where the manager is responsible for analyzing and choosing among, among the appropriate option appropriate alternative which suits that situation so students first let's go through or recall the managerial roles identified by Henry Mintzberg and later on try to relate it with the case of Wong Gilmore few things that we can see over here in the scenario is that Wong Gilmore is an intrinsically motivated manager and she feels that success of her employees is basically her own success. Another aspect that we can conveniently see in this case is about the trust that she has on his on her employees. So having confidence about the employees is an other positive factor that helps her to make the functions of the uh, of the bank branch convenient and effective. Another thing that we come across in this case is about the communication. Effective communication that she adopts helps her to communicate the clear words, clear things to the employees and customers. Anyhow, after looking at these roles, we will be better able to understand and implement and identify these roles with respect to Wong Gilmore's performance. First of all, looking at interpersonal roles. As I have told you that interpersonal roles are related to building up the relationships with various groups, with various stakeholders. The stakeholders can be internal or external. Internal stakeholders can be the workers, the employees that you are dealing with on continuous basis or maybe the external. External stakeholders are the customers and since Wong Gilmore is responsible for maintaining the current group of customers as well as adding to this pool of customers so she has to deal with all the time with the customers to satisfy them to meet their requirements and so on so let's look at the description and bifurcation of the interpersonal roles identified by Henry Mintzberg the first role that he has identified is figurehead. How figurehead can be defined? Figurehead is basically a manager who serves as an official representative of the organization or unit. 
in case of Wong Gilmore, she is rightly be said as a figurehead because she has to head an organization that is basically a bank branch. The activities that generally a figurehead assume are greeting visitors, signing legal documents, etc. And as we have gone through the scenario, Gilmour is responsible for greeting the visitors since this is the responsibility of a good manager. She comes, she used to come out of her office, used to see the customers, used to listen to the customers' complaints, and so on. Second category, or the second dimension that is included in the interpersonal roles identified by Minzberg is a leader. Leader is a person who guides and motivates staff and acts as a positive influence in the workplace. As in the case of Gilmour, we have seen that she is really a leader. She motivates, she guides employees to work effectively, to adopt healthy ways of doing the things, to adopt effective ways of communication to the employees, to the customers, to the other stakeholders. She is, so, Gilmore is rightly be said as leader. The activities generally performed by a leader may include staffing, training, mentoring, etc. Moving on to the third bifurcation, third dimension of interpersonal roles, that is to have liaison with the stakeholders. How liaison can be described in terms of Wong Gilmore? Manager interacts with peers and with people outside the organization to gain information. She has to deal with different people inside the organization as well as outside the information to get the relevant information to get the relevant information about the potential customers in this case when you go through you will be better able to know that she was having regular appointments with different outside groups outside customers to build up the network, to respond to the requirements that they have. One of the examples in the case is about she has to, she was having an appointment with a Chinese restaurant manager to look into some machine for security, for deposits, for receipts. So when she dealt with different groups outside the organization for sharing of the information, the services that the bank can offer. So that is an example of liaison. The activities may include acknowledging mail or email, serving on board, performing activities that involve outsiders. So, we see with respect to our case, with respect to this scenario, that all these dimensions of interpersonal skills, interpersonal roles, are evident in the case of Gilmore. Moving on to another set of roles adopted by the managers working in the organizations are related to the informational roles pertain to the communication 
pertains to the sharing of information, pertains to the collection of information, pertains to the relevant information to be disseminated among the employees working under a manager and so on. So looking at the first dimension of informational roles is about a manager is a mentor as well. What do we mean by mentor? Manager receives and collects information. Sorry, this is about not mentoring. Mentoring, if it pertains to mentoring, mentoring is a interpersonal skill. Now we are discussing informational skills or informational roles. So the informational role is monitor, to monitor, not to mentor. Mentor is a interpersonal skill, whereas to monitor is the informational skill. So under monitoring, what can Gilmore be doing? Manager receives and collects information. Whatever information is coming to her and whatever she is supposed to collect by her own efforts is about monitoring. The activities that she has to perform includes reading magazines and reports, maintaining personal contacts. Information can flow to her by any means. So the whatever information is flowing to her is a part of monitoring. The second communicator or disseminator. When a manager is involved in disseminating, communicating the relevant information to the employees working under her is known as disseminator. In case of Wong Gilmore, she was used to disseminate the required things, required practices that were necessary to be adopted by the employees working under her for maximum customer satisfaction. The activities that can be a part of Communication, uh, communication or disseminator holds meeting, making phone calls to information and to prepare memos and emails. And this is very much evident in the case of Gilmore. He used to arrange, he used to call regular meetings on daily basis for updating her employees. Spokesperson. When a person, when a manager is responsible for telling outside people about the functions, the progress, the services of his or her organization, that is a spokesman. The activities that spokesmen are generally used to adopt include holding board meetings, giving information to the media, the relevant information, the information that is based on success, the information that is based on achieving milestones. In case of Gilmore, all these functions, all these things, are evident. Decisional roles that pertain that uh, pertains to analyzing the situation and taking some appropriate action. So the first one is entrepreneur. Entrepreneur pertains to development of the businesses. Wong Gilmore was actively participating as an entrepreneur and used to develop the network of the customers and 
added to the pool of customers for expanding the bank's business. The activities that can be included are organizing sessions to develop new programs, supervises design of projects. Means to say introducing new projects, introducing new avenues are a part of entrepreneurs function. Disturbance handler. When a manager is involved in negotiation, conflict resolution, minimizing the discrepancies between the actual and the desired, that all pertains to disturbance handler. Manager decides how conflict between subordinates should be resolved. Not only subordinates, but also customers and employees, among employees, and so on. The activities that can be seen are steps in when, uh, when an employee suddenly leaves or an important customer is lost. Jab kabhi bhi koi upset, koi unforeseen problem aata hai, usko overcome karne ke liye, jab manager gets into the situation to handle that situation, handle the negative effects of that situation, minimize the negative effects of those that happening. So this is a role of disturbance handler. Resource allocator. Manager is responsible how the organization will use its resources. Jo be available resources in terms of time, equipment, finances, human resources, how to make the effective combination of all these things for the successful operations of a business. So this is a role of resource handler and Wong Gilmore was exactly doing the same thing. He was taking care, she was taking care of the equipment she was taking care of the employees, she was taking care of and making the best match of the things that used to satisfy the customers. The functions that resource allocator may assume are scheduling, are scheduling, authorizing duties to the subordinates, requesting customers to join the bank or join to uh, avail the services and budgeting to know about the costs and benefits that are a part of successful, successful operations. Another decisional role that a manager is supposed to take or supposed, uh, supposed to assume is the negotiator. Under this role, manager decides to negotiate major contracts with other organizations or individuals. Either a manager is responsible for hiring someone or firing someone, negotiating with the customers upon different terms and conditions, negotiating with the external outside organizations all come under the role of a manager that is clearly being uh, been seen in the case of Gilmore. She was having visit with the Chinese restaurant manager to deal with, to negotiate with the 
terms and conditions for starting a collaborative project. The activities that can be seen in the role of decision maker can be participating in union contract uni uh, negotiations or in those with suppliers. In short, we see that all the roles that have been identified by Henry Mintzberg are evident, are clearly seen in the case of Wong Gilmore. So students, this is how we try to recall and relate the concepts, the theories, the methodologies that we have learned in our previous classes, in our previous courses, and we try to learn by applying those things in the work settings, in the practical scenarios. So this is something about work-based learning. Wish you all the best in your future endeavors and thank you very much for this lecture. Bye for now.